Our students are, are facing a world and a reality where um, the job that they will most likely do for the preponderance of their career probably doesn't exist yet. And so preparing students for that kind of world is, uh, I think, is a distinct challenge and a, and a new challenge for this generation. Their challenge isn't just about kind of picking a path and learning how to excel in it. It's about learning how to continually evolve into whatever comes next that it's completely uncharted and, and it's our job to prepare them for that. It, it sounds pretty daunting, <laughs> but it's real. We've been a customer of D2L for a very long time. And um, I would say that's testimony to, uh, to the quality of partnership that we at the university have had with, with D2L as a company. And then we see feedback like when, you know, D2L develops a, you know, mobile first or mobile responsive interface and our, our mobile usage goes from 5% to 45% uh, inside of a single semester. Like you don't see that kind of change curve unless you're being responsive to customer needs and desires. Our, our students are clearly responding with uptake and our faculty are as well. When you look at, a, you know, 90% saturation rate in the use of the tool in support of, of delivery of instruction, right? 90% of our courses are delivered through this platform. As D12 was rolled out across campus, our first spring semester, we had about 250 courses. Uh, that following fall, we had 500. Uh, today, in a fall semester, we'll average about 4,500 course sites. We only build course sites upon faculty request. What that allows faculty to do is self-service course site creation exactly the way they want it. So our gradebook adoption, where faculty have at least four columns or four grade items in their gradebook, is up over 60% at this point out of that 4,500. So more than 3,000 courses are using the gradebook to help them communicate progress and status to students. We've had several successes using Brightspace at the University of Arizona. Uh, our newest and latest success was saving over $3 million with students' textbook fees. And Brightspace's ability to have good, sound, quality integrations that are secure and valid stable is a big part of that success. The thing I like most about Brightspace is that it is flexible. So if I need to customize certain things, I can go into the HTML and change things. The other thing I love about it is you can continue to use the things that you made from one semester to the next, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel every semester, but you can kind of customize it each year to make it more and more um, what you want for the course and for the students. What I found with Brightspace is that immediately you have much more control over how it looks, which, um, which I think one of the most important things for students is to be able to transition into how the teacher's presenting their information. But I've kind of found that now I have a lot more control over and how that happens. Brightspace has helped me be able to take ownership of my own education and to lead my own path into what my future might look like. Uh, by engaging with the discussion board, I'm able to interact with my classmates, and so that allows me to expand my breadth of knowledge and to really connect with my classmates. And then on the grade side, I always know exactly where I am and how I'm doing, and the feedback that the faculty provides is more rich than typically what I might get uh, when I go to office hours or an impromptu meeting. They're really able to formulate their ideas and to apply it and to give me great feedback. Brightspace has always been really helpful for creating like little navigational tools along the way to make sure that if I had a question, I didn't necessarily have to reach out to anybody because it was there, it was super intuitive. I use the mobile app mostly to check assignments, but generally I just use it to check in on my grades. The grades is a huge perk of Brightspace. As soon as the professor drops it, I have access to it. Our partnership with D2L has always been strong and symbiotic and, and one where we've been very candid with one another. Um, one where we, we feel like we can make 
very, very candid requests and, and transparent demands uh, that are met with, um, with enthusiasm and with desire to, to fulfill those, those demands. I feel like it's always been a quite strong, supportive, and understanding, high-quality relationship.